1 Thessalonians 4 is a widely accepted passage that has to do with the rapture, and, and as it should be, because that is what it's talking about. But people who believe in, in like a pre-tribulational rapture will, will also agree that this is a rapture passage, that that's what it's referring to. And again, I mean, I don't know how you could deny it, but um, we're going to see this, what, the, what phrase is used. Verse number 14 there in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, the Bible says, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with them. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the, what? The coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Caught up. The rapture, that is the event, and that event is described as the, the coming of the Lord, not a coming of the Lord, that is the coming of the Lord. Wouldn't it make sense if we want to know, hey, when's the coming of the Lord? Let's look up the, the passages that talk about the coming of the Lord then and see everything that's going to happen. Turn if you to Matthew chapter 24, because... I don't see how you can say 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 is talking about the rapture when it's talking about the coming of the Lord. But then in Matthew chapter 24, when the disciples just flat out ask Jesus Christ in verse number 3, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Hey, we want to know when this is going to happen, Jesus, as he's there on the earth with his disciples. What's going to happen at the end of the world? When are you coming back? What are going to be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? And then Jesus answers them. Boy, <laughs> you think Matthew 24 might be talking about the coming of the Lord? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 clearly indicates that that's when the rapture happens. If we can just let the Bible, just, just believe what the Bible says instead of relying on what man teaches is just their own doctrine. No, this is the way it has to be because this is the way I was brought up. Let's just receive God's word for what it says. 